the perfect 10 second pitch. This was inspired by an email I got from Kermit all about the 10 second shot clock. And I open this email, I'm like the 10 second shot clock. And then I read this and I'm going to paraphrase some of the email that, that Kermit had sent me because that by the way, is why this video is happening in the first place. So thank you, Kermit. He says, I'm very green to the industry, less than 10 days in the field, and I'm being trained to canvas in a really nice neighborhood. I watch this rep go to the door and knock and the homeowner opens the door and says, I'm busy. You got 10 seconds. Go. Super friendly guy. He's smiling. I'm smiling. And then he starts counting down from 10 and getting louder as he counts. And that's why the original knock shot clock was developed in Maryland. So, then he says, I hope you use this for a training example because we think it's a good story for training new guys greener than me now. Kermit, I couldn't agree more. Thank you for the recommendation. Funny enough, this is a great video for seasoned salespeople because the hardest part of pitching is actually boiling it down into the essence of what you need to say because it's much easier to go longer than it is shorter. So in this video, we're going to be doing some live play with the countdown timer running to show you what to trim from the slap formula, how to use it, and how you can quickly adapt for any single scenario that you will ever face. Welcome and welcome back. My name is Adam Benzman, the Roof Strategist, and everything I do here on my YouTube channel, also available on my podcast, which by the way is a great resource. You can find it anywhere, and it's wonderful for if you're out driving around and want to catch up on episodes. And what we do here and what I do is to help you and your team smash your income goals and give every customer an amazing experience. And sometimes we have to match the customer's desires. And funny enough, when they push into us or do what seems to be rude, because as Kermit said, this guy was laughing and smiling and a, a nice guy, we need to learn how to adapt to pitch quickly, to cut to the chase. Because the reality is every customer is different. And I just went over this on the phone with a sales manager in a team that just jumped on board to get access to the roofing sales success formula, which is my online training dashboard where I cloak training and strategies for an entire team, in a lightning fast nine and a half hours. It includes everything. And he says to me, Adam, how long is your sales presentation? And I said, I can't answer that because the way I teach it is to go as deep as you need to for where people need it. So if you lay out the car park formula, for example, some people may need longer time to connect and build rapport. The next person might have a ton of questions when you present the photos. The other ones might have a lot of questions when you go over your presentation. Or some of them are gonna save all those questions to write at the end. You might even have customers say, I'm ready to go, where do I sign? I've had this happen. So my point is this, just like Kermit experienced with a 10 second pitch, the 10 second shot clock, we need to learn how to match our customers and deliver what they want when they want it. So let's get to it. I'm going to be showing you now in this, by the way, this video is going to pair perfectly with a video that I'm going to link to at the end that I've done. All right. Which is the perfect pitch, how to approach the door every single time, because we are going to be using the foundations of the slap formula. All right. So let's identify the slap formula real quick for the, for the new folks. This is the foundation of my door to door approach. If you're new here, this is it. If you're seasoned, I'm going to make some ad some adaptations to squeeze this into a lightning fast eight to nine seconds. If we can do it S say hi and break the ice. But in this, we only got 10 seconds. We're going to trim the icebreaker because let's be real. If someone says, give me 10 seconds, are you going to compliment their gar, their dog, their, their rose garden or the truck in their driveway? No, no, no. We're going to cut to it. Then we're going to let them know why we are showing up. And we're going to make it relevant to their neighborhood, whether we're brand new in the neighborhood, whether we just got a roof approved, whether we just signed a customer, whether we just did an inspection. Then we're going to A, ask an open-ended question. This is how we're going to shift gears real quick to get the homeowner talking. We got 10 seconds to get it out. Then we're going to get him or her speaking before we P, present to their answer. Let's get to it. I want to show you a few live examples. And shot clock ready? Go. I'll cut right to it. My name's Adam. I just got off Peggy's roof. We just got her roof approved by the insurance. Wanted to stop by and ask, where are you at in the insurance process? I delayed the stop, 8.18 seconds. I said hi. I let him know why I was here, which was I just got off Peggy's roof and we just got her approved. I asked my open-ended question, how has the process been for you? Okay, let's give you another example. Reset. Hey, my name's Adam. I'll cut right to it. I just got off Peggy's roof. We just decided to move forward, getting her roof replaced. And I wanted to ask, when was the last time you had your roof inspected? 9.3 seconds for a retail pitch. OK, 
okay? What you'll see here is by boiling down the essence and practicing this with your own very own, by the way, this is the timer app on my iPhone, you can boil your pitch into the tightest, most compact package, trim the fat, and jump right into it. I highly recommend, because of Kermit's feedback, by the way, that inspired this, because here's the deal, I have much to learn. I just learned this from Kermit, who's been in the industry for 10 days. When you think you know it all, you're dying. All right, you always need to be improving. If it weren't for Kermit bringing this up, I wouldn't have been practicing my 10 second pitch for various scenarios. So now your job is to take what you just learned today and practice your 10 second pitch. And I'm gonna give you some advice. One, say hi, cut to it, trim out the, the uh, saying something nice for the compliment, right? There's no more icebreaker. You say hi, I'll cut right to it. By the way, you might even be observing me right now and giving me critique, which I welcome. Drop a comment. What could I have done better in 10 seconds? Looking back, even after rehearsing this before filming, when I said I'll cut to the chase, I could have cut that out and saved a second. Now, the reason I did decide to share that is it essentially acknowledged his desire for me to speed up without skirting it. So I just want to put that in there. But if you think I should have trimmed it out, drop a comment. So we just want to say hi, let him know why we're there. And remember, we need to practice for when we're new in the neighborhood. When we sign a, so, so new, I'm just going to write new in the hood so I can save some writing. Then when we sign a new customer, I use that example. She just chose us to do the roof. Okay. Then <clears throat> another scenario, when the job gets scheduled, all right, then on uh, install day, and then also when it's paid in full, meaning you've already completed the roof, you've done the roof in the neighborhood. This coincides with how I teach it in the canvassing strategy, works alongside my program, the complete sales strategy. This is where we teach, so you always know exactly what to say. And again, when you're new in the hood, you have doing your first inspection, you've been talking to people, you've done an inspection, what you found. So we break this down into these scenarios, and when you rehearse them, you will never, ever, ever get caught on your heels again, and you will ace your 10 second pitch. Speaking of speed, that's gonna wrap up today's video, but don't go anywhere quite yet. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It'll tell me to do more. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Yeah, I just told you, vote with your heart. I look at that feedback seriously. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here, and I do two new episodes every single week. Yeah, it's a lot, but I'm committed to your success. And last thing, if you want more videos on pitching, jump into this playlist, and if you haven't yet done it, I wanna get my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library, which is 100% free into your hands. All my videos are organized by category. Click away, binge away, and you are ready to rock and roll. Click here to get it. I'll see you on the next one. Now go practice your 10-second pitch. The shot clock is counting.